right, this video I'm going to show you a little bit about the Xfinity TV Remote app. Um, so if you're a Comcast customer with Xfinity, um, this actually comes in handy. Um, um, of course it opens up TV listing and you can filter it. You can see I have Right now I have it filtered by HD channels and channels I have marked as my favorites. So I can go through here, but if we uncheck those two, they are show all the listings. And if you tap on a channel, like I just did, it sends a signal to your to your cable box to change the channel to what you tapped it on. Um, I actually tapped on channel 7 and it took me to that channel um, on demand again you can search for on demand or browse um, like movies and again you can filter and I have it I have this set to be filtered for any HD and free um, movies listed alphabetical order so you can go through here, you find something you want to watch, 21 Jump Street, boom. And then if you click on Watch On, again, it sends a signal to your DVR or your cable box and sets, sets it to play. Um, or you can search, okay, let's search Man of Steel. Um... If any, any of anything was showing TV listing, it would show there, but on demand, of course, it shows up. When you tap on it, it's going to give you information on how much it costs because it's pay-per-view. Um, if I were to click watch, watch on, it would actually send the signal to my cable box, and then on my cable box would be the option to actually buy it. So let's clear that out. Um, more is nice. It's got some settings and DVR manager. We'll look at the settings first. And here are the settings. Um, TV settings, edit TV names and DVR settings, channel lineup. Of course, I have it set to, you know, my location. Favorite channels. You can go through here. And all the channels I have set for favorite, well, most of them, I have set um, the HD version and the regular version, like USA, TBS, Cartoon Network, Comedy Channel, Discovery, FX, AMC, Spike, Sci-Fi, TLC even, History, um, Science, BBC America. Keep going to get to the HD channels. Which is like up in the thousands. See, all the same versions are marked as favorites also. Now, DVR Manager is nice. You can set your priority manager. Of course, I got um, three series set. Um, Supernatural is the top one. Almost Human, the Big Bang Theory. And you can modify them. Uh, let's modify that one so you can see the settings. Um... All, of, all, all three of these series are set the same. Record only new episodes, save all episodes until I delete them. And then it's set for the HD version of the channel. And then the time. So let's look at some of these different options you have. You can set it to record only new episodes or new and repeat, all with duplicates. Save however many episodes you wanted to rack up, either all episodes or one episode, two episodes. If you have it set to save one episode, when it records a new episode, it will automatically delete the old one. Um, of course, save until space is needed or I delete, and I like to delete them myself. Um, you can start it up to 15 minutes early and minute increments or right on time. Same thing with ending recording. Okay. That's the priority manager. 
scheduled recordings. It will show what's coming up that's going to record. And then my recordings, it's the, um, the items that is actually on the DVR. Um, of course, I have a couple Doctor Who episodes. Um, I just recorded This is the End earlier tonight to watch later and some movie Gadget Man that looked interesting. And of course with these, you can delete the recordings and I don't think I'm going to watch Gadget Man. So if I tap Edit and then Mark It, Delete Recordings and it deletes it. And of course with this, again, if you tap on Watch on TV, it, um, it sends a signal to your cable box, your DVR, and it, um, it records. I mean, not records, it plays. Play now, I haven't really used this option. So this is going to be new to me, too. See what it does. And it says it's loading. Okay. There's nothing in there. Oh, well. Okay, well, maybe that's why I never played around with it, because it just constantly loads. But, like I said, if you have a if you have Comcast and Xfinity, it's a nice app. See what's on TV, set recordings, and you don't have to be at your home network. I mean, if you're, like, out and about, and... Think of something you want to set to record. You can do it um, from anywhere else because the um, the app send, it, the app will say um, sends the signal basically to the cable company's system and then from the cable company system down to your DVR. So it's not like the DVR or cable box has to be on the same network or anything because it doesn't. So, like I said, it's a nice app if you have Comcast. Um, control your TV. From your phone, basically. Um, set recordings, see what you have recorded. Um, search for on-demand. So, if you have Comcast, definitely recommend checking it out.